Morning everyone, e-learning, day two, English. So, our walt is to retrieve and record information. Retrieve, get. Record, write. Information, facts, something we found out. So that's how we're gonna be successful today. We're going to use that information and put it in a biography. So we're gonna get it, put it in. Retrieve, record. Fantastic. Okay, You're gonna go onto your first slide, which is the starter. 30 second timer. Don't wanna see much more, put it down. Press play and give yourself a race. You need to tick the pair of verbs that would fit into that sentence. Pluto, now called a dwarf planet, but once it classified as a planet. Say it and you'll actually put the words in. It was hard for me not to put the words in. Read it through, 30 seconds gear down, tick the correct one. Amazing work. Okay, and then you're going to look at some information on slide three. This is where you're gonna retrieve and record, okay? Retrieve it, have a look. There's four, six, seven bullet points there on me, facts about me. Okay, and if you're writing my biography, which would be the most important? Do you think the fact that I love eating shawarmas is going to be the most important thing about me? When I go and um, eventually into the annuals of history, record books, do you think they'll write about how much I love shawarmas? Or do you think they'll talk about maybe the start of my life, where I was born, what led me to go on to become a teacher, things like that? You decide, and I want you to list them. One to seven, one being the most important, seven being the least important. And then you've got your task, bronze, silver, gold. Okay, you have enough time to probably do two of these. So start on bronze, go to silver if you're feeling uh, not that confident, or you're looking at the task and going, I'm already planning, I think I'll find that difficult. You shouldn't, because the breakdowns are there for you, Okay, and there's links through Edmodo for the worksheets and other things to support you. Then you've got silver and then you've got gold. I would like to see people do two of each. I'd like to see bronze, silver and silver, gold. It's up to you what you do. Just be successful and try your hardest. Any questions, go back through the PPT, but a lot of the work here is researching. So I can't help you with that. You're gonna to have to find a correct way of doing it. Think about sources like Wikipedia. You never know, Mr. Purdy could be sat here being mean, going onto Wikipedia and changing them all and putting false information in. So look for a valid source. I don't mean source that's in ketchup or mayonnaise. So your plenary after doing all of that hard work is to go through everything that you've gathered, all that information you've gathered. And is there anything more you need to add? Okay, is there anything you go, actually, if I read that, it doesn't make sense? Or my chronological ordering isn't great. I've somehow started at birth and gone straight into new family and then, I don't know, their death. And then after the death, I've suddenly talked about a life achievement they've achieved when they were 14. Maybe you need to rejig it, look at your plan. Um, and you need to set yourself a target at the bottom of the page. Okay, what are you gonna do next time? When you write a biography and you're recording this information down, what do you think you need to do? Is there a better way to do it? Could you maybe select your own subheadings at first and then retrieve the information necessary for those subheadings? Could you do a different type of plan? Could you do a scattergram? Could you have it in boxed up? What are you gonna do? Okay, enjoy the lesson, refer to this if you need anything, and I will get the next one up for maths.